<laughs> Oz believes in the old ways, so we're also going to try some homebrew. I think you mean microbrewery, James. A very different thing. Uh, and you'll like the woman who runs this one. She's called Patsy. Yeah, I'm sure I'll like Patsy. Have I got to do some pretend work today before I can have a pint? Is it one of those I'll days? Tell you, if there's any work to be done at Patsy's, it won't be pretend. Patsy's brewery is not a hobby, it's a serious business, and it's her full-time job. Pretty impressive, especially when we discover it all takes place in her mother-in-law's garage. This is Patsy Slevin. Patsy, good yes. morning. Yes. Very polite, she shakes your hand rather than before giving me a hug. How are you? Patsy makes over 2,000 pints a week, all of which are eagerly consumed by local drinkers in local pubs in Wigan. Which is local to where we are. Wigan. Exactly. Now, we're here to learn how beer is made and to learn the language of brewing. That is hot water, hot liquor, that's been mixed with a variety of grains of a secret consistency. Ah. That's for my beer. I brew by touch, taste, feel, smell. And right? heart. It's witchcraft. And heart, OK? There you go. It's witchcraft. Well, we started off by mixing that with three barrels of water and then you leave it to stink for an hour and a half. Your strike temperature, which is the temperature of your hot liquor. Hot liquor? Hot liquor. Hot okay. water. No, 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 no. Out there. Got a hot so why is it tank. liquor? Okay. Because that's what they say in brewing. They don't call it water. But it is water. It's water. Okay. It's liquor. The brewers, <laughs> brewers don't ever use a, a simple word when, a, when a an incomprehensible word yeah. would do. What, what you want to do is extract all the starches and the sugars from that malt because that gives you the sugar that the yeast then turns into alcohol. So this is stage one? This is stage one. How do you get that into there? Right. I have to get from... Yeah, that, what's that there. called? A that's a mash tun. That's a mash. That's a mash tun, and that's the mash in there. So mash is the grain... Yeah. ..or, or your secret mixture of grains. Yeah. Liquor. And hot liquor. Hot. Yes. In. In there. And then you sprinkle some more hot liquor on yes. with your sprinkly because, rotating... Yes, as you, as you sparge... That's what that's called. You actually start to draw the liquor off the wort, off at the bottom. So it pumps it up there and into the top of the copper. So what you've got in there is what in the old days would be called ale. It's not ale yet. Oh, so what is it? It's wort. What is wort? Liquor, <laughs> water, <laughs> liquor, <laughs> wort. Wort. And then when you put your yeast in it, then you make ale. Did you put that in here? No. You'll kill I it. Don't know. Yeast is I'm very. To ask intelligent questions. Oh, okay. On behalf of the viewer, obviously. Oh, I know of how course. This. I know how this is done. <laughs> Once this is boiled and we've put hops in it, hops for bitterness, hops for aroma. So, so we you send it. So you don't do dry hopping. I do dry hop some of my beers. I'm just showing off. I, I know you are. Beers. This we is very interesting, but I'm thirsty. So we've got things to do. And beer to drink. Not yet. I uh, uh, taste. Not yet. We've got jobs to do before we get to tasting beer. I'm sorry. Jobs, Jim. Let's check them in. Yeah, because it's boiling, so the, the, the convection currents will just break. It now, if we were in a French vineyard, I'd have to do some pruning, something wussy like that. But this is a British brewery, so it's about heaving, sweating, and scrubbing the games. Some of it's a bit tenacious, perhaps. Yeah, it? yes, that's right. You have to climb inside it, James, and scrub. <laughs> What? It has to be absolutely spotless, James. I would suggest that Oz goes in, wouldn't you? Why? Because yeah, you're a bit smaller than me. Yeah, go on. And you've been slacking. Yeah, go on. Don't turn around, James. Don't worry. Wild horses couldn't drag my head round in that direction. I'm not Tell me when you're safely in the in the tun. Don't turn around. Not, well, I won't. Are you in yet? Oz is entering the fermentation vessel, where yeast turns wort into beer. Oh, this is disgusting in here, James. <laughs> this is arse out of shot. Yet? Shall we not tell him how to get out? Really, I've got. Oh God. I can't believe you actually do this in your shoes here, Patsy. <laughs> Shall we run off and drink beer now? Just <laughs> say, <laughs> Shall we have a pint while he yeah, does that? Yeah, yeah we'll absolutely. Yeah. Where is the beer? Okay. Fantastic. Just leave it oh, oh, Oz. It's like standing in jellyfish. <laughs> I'm just going for a pint. I suspect in the old days everyone did this naked. Like in, in winemaking time, they all jumped oh, into the bats right. naked. I think in some fairly obscure parts of France they still do. It's worse than Oz thinks. Because I've had a few, he'll have to drive. That's the rules. Clark, hello. How was it? 
He's not happy, is he? You'd like this, by the way. This is a lightly hot, which is the way I like it, pale ale. Alcohol by volume, what is it? 3.7%? 3.7%. Very refreshing, very summery. Uh, actually, Patsy's best seller. It's terrific. Bye.